right. <clears throat> good morning. My sixth, my sixth grade class, good afternoon to my seventh grade class. I know that for my seventh graders, this is going to say sixth grade. But if I were to go to y'all's course, the setup is just about the same. Okay. Now you will have a lesson here up top. And you guys will watch this first. Once you watch that, you guys will get started on the remainder of your medical terminology packet. So whether you're on the 7th grade page or whether you're on the 6th grade page, you're going to click on the same buttons. So let me click on student view and I'm going to reset the student just to make sure we got everything we need. Okay, click on medical terminology module and we are working on the medical terminology section. So click on Medical Terminology Assignment, uh, Packet Assignment. Now if you guys are in class, go ahead and pause this video right now so you can get your packet out of your book bag. So go ahead and pause, and then you can resume the video. So if you guys are virtual, there's no reason for you to pause because this is exactly what your packet looks like. So, if you have not already completed, you need to complete the word root quiz as well as the prefix quiz and the suffix quiz. Again, you'll find those answers on this sheet of paper. So the first page is prefixes and suffixes or the second sheet of paper, which is the word roots, okay? So if you're looking for these, you're like, I don't know where to find it. Make sure you're looking on the right page. The first one is word roots. Second one is prefixes. So you would use this top sheet. Word roots, you would use this sheet. And then for the prefix quiz and suffix quiz, you're going to use this top sheet. I know it's a lot of scrolling around. I'm sorry. But once you finish these three, okay, you're going to get to this part. And it says medical terminology identification. It says divide each word into word parts and identify each word part. Here's an example. So cardiology. We know that cardi means heart and then ology means the study of. Now why it's important that you would have paused the video is we're going to go through and I will help you find the word roots. Now some of these are going to be easier than others. So the best thing to do is to go through and find the word root. So this first one, you can see it's cardi. Okay, so we know that peri is going to be divided here. And then cardi would be divided after the I. Now I'm going to tell you this. The I is shared with itis. Okay, so we've got cardi itis. Itis is one word, cardi is one word. Okay, so I'm going to underline cardi because that's what you would find in the thing, but I'm also going to overline itis because that would be the second part of the word. So instead of doing a dissection like this, that's what you would do. The word root for cyanosis is scion, the word root for dysuria is urea. The word root for hydrocephalic would be hydro. And then you're going to be able to find cephal. Don't worry about the ick. Okay. So just look for cephal. And again, you might want to just go ahead and underline that on your paper just so that way you can remember that's the word root you're looking for. Okay. So hepat or hepto is going to be the word root here. And then you'd be looking for the suffix megaly. Amesis would be the word root here. Um, this has a shared O, so I'm going to underline lipo and overline oma because that's the word root, that's the stuff suffix. Trache is the word root here, but it is not in your notes. So I'm going to type it, trache equals tra. Yeah. Okay. So that's not going to be in your notes anywhere, but now you should have it. 
And if you need to pause the video to write this down if you guys are in class, please do so as I go through and dissect the words. Erythrocytopenia has a lot of word roots. Okay, I think I was using drawing. So erythro is one, and you might just find it erith. Cyto, now I think that one is denoted as sight, because remember the word or the letter at the end is always a vowel, but it doesn't always match. So if you're looking for hepato and it has only hepata, that's fine. So just know the end of the word root, that combining form changes. Otosclerosis is going to be another one. So oto is the word root. Intercostal, I think you'll be able to find costa, but not the, uh, the L, and that's fine. Ofer, that one is not on your list. So, oops, ofer equals ovaries. Okay. I believe hister is on there. Nef, and it could be nephro. It could just be nef. I can't remember exactly how they have it, but nephrologist. Um, derm will be on there. IC will not. Rhino, boop. Rhea. Memo, boop. Plasty. Pharynge. Itis. Osteo. Malaysia. Um, and I do believe pharynge is also not on there. So let me go ahead and put that in there. Pharynge equals pharynx. And so you guys should have that now. So that way you guys can see those ones. Now you will have to go through and find all of the ones that I did not define. So what you're going to do now is you see I've spread out the word. So we've got pericarditis. So you would put peri equals and then what the word root is. Cardi, which we all know. I'm going to tell you all, it was a lot easier teaching this lesson prior to Cardi B because when she didn't exist, I didn't have to worry about kids thinking about it. But this is heart and then you would find itis. Oops. And you would put equals and then you would put whatever that equals. So you should be able to go through now and be able to find all of these. Now, like I said, they're not all going to match exactly. So like, for example, dermic, you may not be able to find the ick. I'm not super concerned about it as long as you can define derm. Um, you may not be able to find um, ick for cephalic, but as long as you know that it's cephal and you know what that equals, then we're good. So you're going to go through and identify all of these medical terms. Now, if you guys are working um, on paper, you're welcome to pause the video and get started on this sheet only. If you guys are working online, you're also welcome to pause the video and then I will give directions to the next page so that way you can easily work. It's completely up to you. If you want to watch all the way through and then come back, you're more than welcome to do that as well. However, um, I would highly suggest that you take the time to go ahead and do that now. Do they have a highlighter? I would love a highlight. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now that I found, I'm sorry, I have not usually used Cami in the past. So again, you're going to go through here and find word roots on the right hand side. Now for the matching health careers, there are multiple um, uses for some of these. Okay. So the word root for nephrologist, oh, that didn't seem to work at all. Yeah. Where's an undo button? Yeah, undo. Okay. Strike through. I want a big highlighter. Is there any way I can make this bigger? Oh, that's. Let's try that again. It's like a. You can you get like. There's no way you guys can see that. There's absolutely no way. Okay, that's fine. I'll just go back to drawing. Ba 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 ba. And I'm gonna underline in blue. Now we're gonna we'll go black. I'm sure you guys can see that. 
So the word root here is nef. Word root here is dermat. Okay, and again, sometimes you'll see it as dermat. Sometimes you'll see it as derma. It's the end of that word root. We've got gastro or gastra, cardio, cardii, phlebot, which I believe is phlebo, optum, neuro. Okay, this one you're not going to find on that sheet, which is not fair. This is a doctor who treats cancer. Okay, so you do know this. Psych. Psych. You guys have to use that word. All right, we got psych. Ooh, 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 no. Undo. No, thank you. Drawling. So here we go again. Psych would be the word root. And then dent. Um, cephal would be the word root here. Um, arterio. I don't think you have that in your notes, so I'll put it here. Arterio equals artery. A lot of times you'll find that the words kind of match other words you guys know. Gingivitis. I'm sure you guys all have gingivitis. No offense. Gingiva is the word root. Itis would be um, the other parts. If I were to draw a line there, it would be like that. Pneumo is, oh my goodness. You think I could draw a straight line? Pneumone, oh goodness. Ectomy, that's the word root. Hepat, ectomy. Pericarditis, you have on the other page, so I'm hoping you guys can figure that out. Carcinoma. You should be able to find carcin on your sheet, so carcin is the word root. Oma is the back part. Hemat, ura. Those are actually two word roots, I believe. Crany, otomy. And I don't know if crany is on there, but it means skull or cranium. Okay? So I have divvied up the words. You need to figure out what all of these mean and then match them with a career on the other side. So now that I've found the word roots for you, and we talked about how ologist means one who studies or one who specializes in, okay? So that's over here, and you guys can see that. Um... And I'd put Doctor Who Treats S there, even though it just says Doctor Who Treat Cancer. That's not correct English. Let's fix that. Alrighty. So you can pause the video here as you move on to the next page. And then when you're ready to come back, I'll explain that last page for you. Okay. All right, so at this point, you would have answered everything you could have for the medical terminology identification, as well as the matching health careers page, okay? Um, if you're online, hopefully you're staying with me so far. If you're in person, hopefully you have paused and then restarted this video and then paused it again. That's probably the easiest way, because if you try to listen to all these directions at one time, you're going to be like, what are you talking about? But I figured I'll just make one video instead of like three individual videos. That just seems like a lot more clicking around for you guys. So anyway, we're going to go here. Now, I am not going to dissect the words for you here. Okay. You will need to do that on your own. You're going to, I have done it for you here. I've given you plenty of examples of how it's supposed to be done. So you're going to try to find the word root, the prefix, or the suffix that goes alongside of it, okay? So I'm going to show you this, show you this one, okay? Adenoid or adenoid, okay? A-D-E-N means gland, and oid, I believe, is like. So it should be gland-like. What you're going to do on your sheet is you're going to dissect the word and then write underneath it what each of these mean. We will go over these in class when I return, okay? 
I've got a little story that goes alongside of each of these to make them more memorable so you can remember what they mean, but we will go over all of these terms on, what is it? Tomorrow is Wednesday, so Friday. We will do this together. Okay, your job right now is to get through um, the rest of these sheets. Okay, so you may have done the first three. Our aim is to get through the next three today. That is what you are working on. Now, if you somehow finish all of this, okay, you somehow finish all of this, then you're going to click next, okay? And I've got a bunch of games. So I've got a word root quizlet. Now, if you don't like playing this game where you line up what each of them mean, you can choose a study mode down here. So you can do flashcards, okay? Now, will you be responsible in knowing each and every one of these? No, but it sure does help. You guys will have a quiz on this probably next week. And the more you know, the easier that quiz is. All of our quizzes right now are typically going to be um, open note, but if you waste your time going through your notes, you're going to run out of time. There's a suffix quizlet that you can do. You don't have to leave the page. It's just right here. Boom. You can add it in and you can get that done. There is a prefixes quizlet, start game, and you can do that. And again, you can choose your study mode. So I would go through those until I kind of had them committed to memory. Then there is a medical terminology game. So if you click on this, ooh, that doesn't seem to be working. Let me see if I can try to fix that. Um, but until then, let me leave student view. If I can't get it to work, then you guys won't be able to see this page. Okay, next. Okay, next would be the quiz. So once you're done, your job is to do the quizlets. So you're gonna work on the last three pages of the medical terminology packet. Um, we will go over those briefly, but then they will be due at the very beginning of class, next class. So if you plan on just like skating through today, not doing the work, and then um, trying to get all the answers on Friday and turning it in quickly, it's not gonna work. I go through those really quickly. Um, so I would suggest you get as much as you can done. You should have all of the answers um, in the video. So even though your page may no longer have that one. Um, so like I know for a fact, your page doesn't have trachea, ophir, um, pharynge, arterio. Um, it's, it's missing a couple. But since I just gave you all of those answers, um, that should be there and waiting for you, okay? So I'm gonna go through and delete some of this stuff because obviously, doot, uh, we don't need to worry about, I wonder if I can do it like I do, nope. You guys won't need that because we've already covered it in this video. If you have watched the entire video, good on you. You can go ahead and get to, uh, your Quizlets, I guess, because at this point you have watched the entire video and you would have finished all of your items. Now, we will not be Zooming today. I shouldn't have waited till the end of that video to say that. Um, my daughter, I'm home with her with an ear infection. She is not feeling good. I do not think I will have uh, the time or the availability to be able to do that. So anyway, be good for the sub today. Miss Baldwin is here. Uh, with you guys. So be good, be smart, behave, and I will see you guys on Friday.